Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RAS Aquaculture. Do like and subscribe if you like our channel. So today we're just going to talk about the farm operations that we're doing over the Chinese New Year period. So as you can see, we're actually disinfecting a lot of the boxes. The reason being is we have actually sold a lot of our inventory during Chinese New Year Eve and the first and second day of Chinese New Year. This actually vacant out a lot of boxes for us to disinfect. So we have not been able to do it because we had a lot of inventory for the periods over December and January which we have actually sold them off the first few days of Chinese New Year. So now it's actually a good opportunity for us to start to disinfect the boxes to make sure that we have a low bacteria count. So as you can see here, we have only one or two blocks that are remain occupied. The rest have actually very low inventories or they are being disinfected. So this is the current status of what we are doing at the moment. So that gone pretty well. So this is the remaining inventory we have for our uh, crab sales. Uh, these are mainly in the 300 gram size. The 500 and 600 grams have actually been more popular throughout this season. So before going to Chinese New Year, we actually made a bunch of productivity improvements to the farm, and this is one of it. So this is this black tank is basically basically used to store fresh water. For those who have been following our channel, basically we convert fresh water to salt water by adding salt. But this fresh water we are using in this case actually comes from the municipal water supply and it is then introduced by a series of valves that we add into the system with pumps. So basically what we have done to make sure that to, ma to maximize productivity is we have actually made this uh, tank auto top up. So as you can see, water actually comes in from the municipal supply and goes into a float system whereby a float valve, a float switch is used to maintain a water level. So this is exceptionally well, especially during periods when you do not have water and it, and it always ensures that you have full storage of water before going into uh, the farming process. Um, for maintenance, uh, one of the big maintenance we've done throughout the year 2020 was to replace one of the leaky uh, connections on top of the sand filter. So that's what one of it that's been done and replaced. A simple replacement doesn't cost much as well. And we have also changed some part of our protein schema. So for those who have been following our channel, I'm sure you have seen we have released a video on the DIY schema and we are still using it at the moment. However, we have made a change to the pump. Instead of using a standardized uh, pump, we have actually changed it to a DC pump where we have a speed controller to change the input. So this is how the speed controller looks like. When I need to create more bubbles, I just press the upper side and it creates more bubbles. So, apart so as we are running a commercial farm, so one of the ways we are always looking for is to enhance productivity during the working process. And how we do it is by adopting boxes that have actually holes in it. So this is actually used to transport crabs from one point to another. So as you can see, it has holes which enables us to drain out the water slowly, which reduces the overall weight that we have to carry. So each basket plus crabs is about 2 to 3 kilos, which is easy for manual handling. Another good point about this box is it doesn't have big holes at the bottom. So it the, the crab legs doesn't get caught up in this hole. And when you try to remove them, the crabs from the boxes, they don't, they don't struggle because usually their legs will get caught in these holes. And basically, if you push them too hard, you will break off their legs. So these are one of the ways that we've uh, tried to optimize our workflow in working the process to make sure that we are productive. So that's all for today.